All right, next up is Docman. Docman is a really cool program. Basically, it's going to allow you to upload files onto your server and people could come on your website and download files. One um, popular thing that this could be useful for is if you offer ebooks or audio files on, on your uh, website for people to download. So this is the uh, back end of uh, Docman. As you, as you can see, you know, it's very uh, user friendly looking. And um, I'm going to go to the live site. This is the front end of Docman. Actually, let, let me click on it. This is the front end of Docman. This is all the categories of all the different programs that we have. Let me go ahead and click on audio. What do we have in here? Uh, on audio we have iTunes cool so if I click on the download link for iTunes this one actually takes me to the iTunes um, website alright let's go uh, back to the uh, back end of Docman and let's just take a look around right here we have our files right here we have our documents that's all the uh, software that's actually available on uh, PCFix411.com. Let's go to the categories view. Groups, licenses, statistics, etc. So this is Docman. Very cool um, program. Wow, looks like a lot of people downloaded um, Komodo Internet Security. All right, cool. Let's see what's next. J comments. This program is just beautiful. The uh, J comments program. It's uh, very elegant. It gives you a lot of control right here. You know, manage comments. You get to read them over. Make sure everything is uh, cool with the um, comments. And um, this shows you whether you want notifications, controls RSS feeds. You have control of the uh, layout and permissions of course so let's just take a look for example with the uh, unregistered users you know you're allowing them to post comments you you put a capture in there and uh, it's you know just a cool program let's take a look at the smiles section uh, the subscriptions pretty much when somebody comments on your site with J comments they could subscribe just in case somebody else adds another comment to the um, website that way they'll receive an update notification let me um, go ahead on to the website just to show you what the comment looks like so let me search for the um, actual article so we could take a look at what the comment looks like All right, no sound in Internet Explorer 9. Scroll down. And then this is what the comment looks like. Looks pretty good. And if you want to add a comment, that's what it looks like right here. It's very, it's very neat, very beautiful, very efficient. You know, it blends in really nicely. What's our next component? That will be Jamla XI Capture. This is a program that's going to save you so much grief because there's so many spam robots on the internet. If you don't have a capture, you're going to really be in trouble. So in the control panel, it gives you a lot of options here for Jamla XI Capture. Um, pretty much once once you install this program, it's going to pretty much check everything on your website that has a uh, user input. And then it's going to protect it. So anywhere on your website where somebody could put their um, name or email address into, it's going to protect it. Let's take a look at the um, configuration. And then this is just um, pretty much the, the type of capture that um, we'll be using, you know, the look and feel to it. 
but you could change all of that everything's customizable let's take a look at the uh, capture manager so right here I put down that I absolutely want to capture on Akajum. The whitelist is um, certain things that you don't want to capture on, which me, I don't have anything that I don't want to capture on. I want to capture on everything because I've had to deal with my share of um, spam robots on, on the internet. The blacklist is what you want to absolutely make sure you want to capture on. So that, my friends, was Jamla XI Capture. Next up is JV Link Exchanger, which is a really, really cool program. Basically, what this program does is it handles reciprocal links on your website. So other webmasters could come to your website and they could request to have a reciprocal link and this program is going to do all of the work it's going to check to see that these guys put your link on their site you have a lot of options here different layouts the exchange options um, I set it to auto approve because the software is actually going to go on the other person's site to check to see if they um, put your link up you have a banner exchange program you have featured links thumbnail previews it sets up Chrome jobs let's check let's take a look at this live on the um, website I'm gonna go up and it and all these links are in my link section so once you get into the link section if you're a visitor you could click on add link next up is REDJ what this program does it's this program is just so amazing because this program is gonna handle your 404 errors where you have dead pages on your website and it's actually gonna redirect those dead pages to the page of your choice so we take a look here at the uh, errors it actually documents all the pages that that were um, that were dead so right here uh, PC fix 411 forum stats that that was a um, a dead um, page um, Wow and we have quite a few pages that that come up dead on the website if, if we could scroll down to the end this is about 295 pages and I know that's from from about the last um, two months or so so REDJ is something that you guys absolutely need to handle your 404 pages because you don't want for when a visitor comes to your website for them to just get a blank 404 error rather you want if a uh, if there's a dead link on your website for you to at least get the visitor over to your index page that's your home page because at least the visitor will be on looking at your website they'll be on your website and able to use and enjoy your website let's take a look at sh404 sef basically this program produces friendly urls for um, Juma, joomla um, you see here it describes itself as search engine optimization for Joomla let me go back into the live site and if you're taking a look at the live site look how these URLs look very neat pcfix411.com front slash links front slash add dash website dash link it makes everything very neat if I go into another article as you can see it puts the name with the dashes charge dash volume dash and insert you can see what I'm talking about so this program SH 404 SEF is a must-have it's highly configurable and it's something that is gonna help your um, search engine rankings finally we get to a program called XMAP now what XMAP does 
it makes site maps for your website and the search engines just love good site maps so you want to make sure that you install xmap into your joomla site that concludes my um, overview of the essential Joomla components that you will need. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to my page to keep up with the latest videos. Be sure to visit my website pcfix411.com and sign up for the newsletter. I give away a ton of free stuff on that newsletter. Thank you for watching.